Carnivore Diet Debunked Negative Side Effects of an All-Meat Diet The all-meat carnivore diet is the latest fad eating plan whose purported benefits seem endless. Its proponents, such as Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, and Sean Baker, claim it has given them more energy, less body fat, and can even cure Lyme disease, depression, and rheumatoid arthritis. But is eating nothing but meat really good for your health? Let's look at some of the problems you can encounter if you follow this radical dietary approach. Nutrient Deficiencies The human body needs 13 essential vitamins in order to thrive. Although you can receive most of them from eating a range of meats, you will miss out on some crucial ones if you totally forgo plant matter. Foliate, as well as vitamins C and E, almost exclusively come from fruits and vegetables, mostly green leafy ones and citrus. This is the reason why sailors used to get scurvy. They didn't receive adequate vitamin C in their largely fish and meat-based diets. Going all meat leaves you exposed to nutrient deficiencies that in the long run can be very detrimental to your health. Lack of fiber. Meat contains no fiber, which is crucial to a healthy diet. Fiber promotes a diverse, robust microbiome in your intestines, and your microbiome impacts everything from digestion to your immune system and even your mood. The bottom line is that you need fiber, and meat cannot give it to you. The result can be a distressed digestive system and even psychological problems. Increased bad fat. Many proponents of meat-dense diets point to cultures that have historically eaten mostly meat. The Inuit, for example, almost exclusively eat fatty meats. However, the Inuits stay healthy because they eat an extremely wide variety of meats, most of which fad dieters will not be consuming. They stave off scurvy by eating collagen-rich, vitamin C-dense whale skin and other fresh, uncooked meats. Also, the flesh they consume is not mostly protein. It's about 50% fat, much of which is the healthier, unsaturated variety. The meat you buy in a grocery store mostly contains saturated fat, since that's the kind that develop on animals that get little exercise and eat mostly corn. Saturated fat has been linked to heart disease and cardiovascular problems in humans. Colon and heart risks. Eating a lot of red meat has been linked to colorectal cancer, along with pancreatic and prostate cancers. A World Health Organization report on red meats in 2015 supported the cancer link and provided evidence that, when cooked at high temperatures, animal flesh produces certain chemicals that are carcinogenic. Eating a lot of meat also pushes the balance of your good and bad cholesterol, called HDL and LDL respectively toward the unhealthy end. You want more HDL and less LDL, along with low levels of triglycerides. Meat has been shown to do the opposite, raise your LDL and triglyceride levels while lowering your HDL. Cancer Pathways When humans digest animal protein, they use the various amino acids found in the meat for a range of biological processes. These include building muscle and making neurotransmitters in the brain. But not all amino acids are created equal, and some can be detrimental to your health. The carnivore diet increases a megadose of bad guy amino acids, which have been linked to increased risks for certain diseases, including cancer. Researcher Walter Longo at the University of California has published research showing how the amino acid composition of animal protein turns on cancer pathways in the body by increasing levels of a hormone known as insulin-like growth factor 1, or IGF-1. The burden on the liver and kidneys. When we eat protein, the body breaks down nitrogen molecules in the meat and turns them into ammonia. This is then processed by the liver into urea, which goes through the kidneys on its way out of the body as urine. Those on the carnivore diet risk eventually becoming overloaded with ammonia after eating nothing but large portions of meat for months and years on end. This is a condition known as ammonia toxicity, which ultimately could compromise the function of your liver and kidneys. Before contemplating any radical diet approach, it is always advisable to seek the advice of your doctor. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to Better Days, where we deliver fun and informative videos that help you become the best version of you. Till next time, have a great day.